And we are back. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second part of... Oh, I don't want to save. Let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. The last part was overly long. I will never film any videos as long as that, or longer, ever again, if they are part of my any of my Let's Plays, because I'm planning on doing more. I'm also going to do a different voice for Chaddock, because I lost my voice when I did that. So, one recording session is now going to be two videos, I'm going for in between 15 and 30 minutes, okay. And three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, I'm trying to get to work. Here we go. That's the voice I was using for Chaddock. I am using for Chaddock. I will walk now. Oh, you two, still wandering around lost, it seems. Now come with me. You should really be nicer to his new apprentices if he wants to keep them in the guild. Huh? Last time we did a job, it was from the board on the other side. Wonderful observation, Shanks. Correct. Today, we'll have you do a job listed on this side. Oh, yeah. One other thing I forgot to mention. Expect less Super Mario RPG references per video. Even though that is a good game and I'm planning on doing a LP of it after, like, four others that I was planning on doing. Today, we'll have you do a job listed on this side. Music note. How is this different from the board on the other side? Why is Shinx having a happy face when he's puzzled? Oh, whatever. Take a closer look. Oh, look in front of There are posters up there that show variety of Pokemon. Well, they all look pretty cool. Are they famous explore? Fail! And I did the... Well, actually, that was a big fail. I did the chat up voice for Shinx. Who are these Pokemon, chat up? The Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters, and they're wanted for committing crimes. Oh no! They're outlaws! Correct, so there are bounties on their heads. In other words, there's a cash reward if you capture one. There's so many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep up with the problem. Wait, you're telling us to go catch these outlaws? You can't be serious! That... <laughs> uh, sometimes things... That the game designers made your partner say are just hilarious to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just the look on his face when he says that. I'm just joking. The bad Pokemon out there coming all shit into badness. Some of these Pokemon are completely wicked. Wicked? Wicked? Thrill and thrill. But there are also bad Pokemon who are merely petty thieves. So you've got evil to naughty and everything in between. So I'm sure we, I can avoid you giving you a job catching a super... I can't pronounce the... the something... Token. Whatever. <laughs> so look over these post-its and pick a Pokemon that looks weak enough for you to bring to justice. Um... You say some are weak, but they're still bad Pokemon, aren't they? I'm scared of dangerous Pokemon. Wasn't this the reason you joined the guild, Shanks? It's all part of your training. You'll work through it, I'm sure. I suppose you do need to be prepared to confront the top opponent. So I'll have someone give you a tour of the facilities. Hey, Beedoof! Beedoof! Yup, yup! <laughs> you called? Ah, uh, Beedoof, these are the new recruits that just joined us. Take them and show them around the town. Yes, sirree! By golly, I'll do just that! Yup, yup! This is Beedoof, he's one of your fellow apprentices. I want you to pay attention to what Beedoof has to say and follow his orders. Off you go! Remix of the gold gets very annoying after. Oh shucks, I'm overjoyed. Why is that? I'm glad to have members junior to me. I'm almost overcome right now. I might just blubber with happiness. Before you all signed on, I was the most recent rookie. Well, I'd best show you around. Come with me, please. Why is he taking us down? I saw everything down. First things first. Here we have Krogunk. But to tell you the truth, I don't have any idea what that Pokemon's up to. He always seems to be fiddling around with that big cauldron back there. It's all a mystery to me. Yup, yup. Over this way is the mess hall. And if you look that way, you'll find the crew rooms. And this here leads to the guild bus. We went every single place on this floor already. Next, I'll guide you around places, both around places outside the guild.
Okay, we haven't been here yet. I hear you can make a record of your adventure at that watering hole. Usually you make a record of your adventure by going to bed at the jail and you can make a record of your adventure. Yeah, you can save... Basically, it's telling you you can save there instead of at the guild. Isn't he passing everything? This is the main square for local Pokemon. It's called Treasure Town. Oh, I can tell you about Treasure Town, too. That over there is Duskall Bank. You could save our money there. And over there is the Electivire Link Shop. That's where you can do things like link moves together, but it looks as if Electivire isn't here today. Here we have the Kecleon Market. You can buy and sell items here. And there's Kangaskhan Storage. Items stored here will never be lost. If you have precious items that you can't afford to use, store them here before you don't have And those are the basic places that exploration teams visit you. That should do it. You sure know a lot, yes siree. And that's good to know. Alright then, come find me when you're ready to go. I'll give you a helping hand with sneaking the right outlaw for you to have it walk. Thank you, Edith, you've been really nice. Golly, you're embarrassing me, aren't you? It's kind of awkward, Edith, isn't it? Okay, let's go. I'd like to see what kinds of items are available. Let's go to the Pickling on Market. Before we head back, visit the Pickling on Market. Awesome. Yeah, the only reason they did that is because... There's story progression in the Kekleon market. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of a different time when you can go here and you can actually get an item. You can go in the dojo when it's broken. I don't use the dojo much even when it does open. There's some flora, core fish. I'm not going to talk to all the other Pokemon here. Yeah, you can hold B. It's not what I meant to. This bush is going to be is going to be so important later in the game. You're going to laugh, and I just hit my table, so that was probably a big shake in the film. A big grass. Another team. And Totem Pole, Hoot Hoot, Amorith, Crick Top thing from before, Zatu, Tangela, Fur... A Horsey, Pidgeotto, and something very ugly looking on the bottom. Is that a Nuzleaf? It's a very ugly looking Nuzleaf. Alright, let's talk to Kekleon. Welcome to the Kekleon shop. Bye. And you can buy stuff. You have enough money, of course. There's a bunch of cool items and things. I don't have enough to buy the item I want, the Reviver Seed. <laughs> and I tried to buy it. Good start. Uh, let's try selling. Make sure let's keep all the stuff we have. You have to talk to Kecleon and even just exiting out. And you'll get this cutscene. Ah, oh, little Marilyn Azuro. Welcome, my young friends. Hello, may I buy an apple? Oh, most certainly. Meryl and Azuro bought an apple at Kecleon Mart. Thank you, Mr. Kecleon. No, thank you, my young friends. You are to be admired. You see, those delightful children are brothers. Lately, their poor mother has fallen sick. So those youngsters come and do the shopping for her. Nothing I'd want to do. It's quite remarkable, though. Very young, they've stepped up and taken charge. Mr. Cackleon! Oh, what's the hurry? What makes you return in such a rush? There was an extra apple. You didn't pay for this money. Oh, yes, that young friend is a gift from me and my brother. Please, share it among yourselves, and do enjoy. Really? Yay, thank you, Mr. Cackleon and Mr. Ke Again, with the things the designers put in this game. I never saw that part of the scene entirely where Azuril trips. I never knew the apple bounced for that long. 
picked up the apple. We're sorry to bother you, thank you so much. And Fernet gave the apple back to Azuro. But then, suddenly... Suddenly the screen glitched out and stuff started flashing red! Huh? What was that? Oh my god, there's something wrong with my game! What is ha- Dizzy or am I- That was odd. What was that? I'm sure I heard a shout for help right now. Did that shout come from you? Is something the matter? Hey, Zero, what's going on? Hurry home. Yep, I'm coming. Wait up. I don't know if the shop only I'll look for anything else that's going on. Yep, I'm coming. Ha, huh, those little guys are cute. Oh, what's the matter, Infernape? Same reused movement for, uh, whatever. Oh, did I hear a shout from home just then? Oh, no, I didn't hear anything like that. Hey, Cacleon brothers, did you ever hear anything strange just a moment ago? No, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anything out either. Yep, the only exclusive sprite in the game. You cannot find Purple Cacleon in the dungeons. This is... Actually, I forget if that's the same as Shiny Kecleon in the normal games, but this is the only time in the game that you see Purple Kecleon. I didn't hear anything odd either. It sounds like the Kecleon brothers didn't hear anything odd either. You must have imagined it in front of me. No, I'm positive that I didn't imagine it. I definitely heard it. The shout I heard. <laughs> There's no mistaking it. That was a zero scream. Uh, are you daydreaming? Let's move it in front of me. Now we'll just talk to the other kind thing on. So it's orbs and TMs. That's a TM, those are orbs. Yeah, nothing I want. Probably find more orbs in dungeons, and can I use... Uh, what made me think I could... Oh! What's going on there? Yay! Apparently, Azuril saying yay is what's going on there. Thank you. Please, it's nothing. Wow, Drowsy appears in this game. Just the... Yeah, I watched the episode of Pokemon, the original anime with Drowsy in it, just before I started filming. Epic coincidence! Please, it's nothing. What's going on? Oh, hi. Some time ago, we lost an item that's pretty important to us. We've been looking for it all over, but we haven't found it yet. Then, Mr. Drowsy came along, and he says he may have seen our lost item somewhere. He even offered to help us look for it. We're so happy about this. Yay, that's great for you. Actually, he said yeah, not yay. What am I talking about? Thank you, Mr. Drowsy. Oh, please. I have to have a cold heart to ignore a kid to need. I can't turn a blind eye. Let us be on our way to begin our search. Something about this drowsy guy I don't like. Yep. Yep. Proof that he doesn't like me either. Whoops, excuse me. That must have been sarcastic. Er, what is this? That drowsy sure is a nice Pokemon, isn't it? I can't shake this weird feeling about it. More and more bad Pokemon are in. It's hard to do good deep. It's happening again. Another dizzy spell. If you keep being difficult, it will mean big trouble for you. <laughs> I will never do that again. What was that? It would be nice if those little guys found their items soon. Huh? What's the matter, Infernape? You're looking awfully grim. Uh, did you want to tell me something? You went to tell me- you want to tell me something. What?! You had a dizzy spell?! Then you saw Zuro being threatened by Drazi, so you went to go rescue Zuro right away? Want to go rescue Zuro right away? It's an emergency? Well, what you described does sound like an emergency, but- Well, it's not like I don't trust you in front of it, but I can't- just can't believe it. After all, Drazi seemed to be a sincerely nice Pokemon, didn't he? I watched the three of them go off earlier. 
They looked like they were having a good time, didn't they? You're probably just tired and fry. Maybe that's why I had that bad daydream. Is that it? Just a bad daydream? But come to think of it, that drowsy didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. My own character in the game is going against my thoughts. End of awkward silence. Anyway, we're only apprentices. We just can't go wherever we want. Sure, it's worrying, but... We have to concentrate on our guild work for now. Let's get ourselves ready to explore. Finish the plan B. The is supposed to be waiting for us on the guild's upper underground floor. Isn't that redundant? Let's go in front of it. I'm going to deposit my money with Duskull. Uh, save at the watering hole. I don't want to lose my progress after more cutscenes. Okay, more bad singing later. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go back up and... Ten rolls for expert... How did that work? Okay. Ten roll wiggly tough skill. Ten rolls for exploration teams. You heard the first three already. One, don't jerk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, so I would go for miles. There's actually ten of them. We only say the first three at the beginning of the day every single time. Four, once... The rest of them are kind of wordy, which kind of explains that. Once you put a job on your team's list, then you take job. That step can't be missed. More on that later. Five, restock your supplies and rations before heading out on dungeon next week. Oh, not restock your supplies and rations before heading out on dungeon explorations. Ha ha, funny one. Six, before you explore, try to think about the moves you should like. More on that later, too. Seven, when ex while exploring, don't you panic. Stay cool and calm and never met. What? Helping all Pokemon in need is an explorer's duty. Indeed. Now they're just getting... Now they're just losing creativity. Do lots of jobs, it's true the key, you'll reach gold rank, just wait and see. More on that later, too. Ten, the money you earn is shared with the guild. You already know that, thank you very much, Chaddock. That's the way our friendship will... That's the way I come to hate birds! Apparently, if you hold... Oh yeah, if you hold B down in text boxes, it just auto-scrolls through. That's why it was doing that. Uh, so if I find an agent to please board, you have to help him. Worrying isn't for us. Inferno. Today they didn't want to steal any jobs from Job Bulletin Board. Just supposed to check the jobs on the outline of this board. If you drive a fixed idea, then, uh, Are you the leader of that team? We're Team Glee! We're the exploration team that delivers happiness. Alright, let's. Listen, Inferno. Came to kicking an outlaw, didn't Bidoof say help? Couldn't Bidoof has just come over? He was right next to us. Huh? Are you folks all set and ready for some exploring? Epic voice crack. Not the voice I was planning on using for you. Oh, yes siree. Reckon you all are ready. Then let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. Well, you've got your pick of this sorry bunch of characters. And you know what? Before we pick our, this sorry bunch of characters... I'm gonna stop the video for now. I mean, we didn't do any dungeon stuff, but we're gonna. We got through some story progressions. It's been a pretty long video, almost 20 minutes. I think we're gonna end this. But next time, stuff will happen. Believe me. Alright.